デビ会長に記しておかなければな<笑>構えるよりは下じゃが出るよりは上じゃな遊女と聞いておりまする<笑>その気持ちを変えぬとあらば腹を切りまする Oh, he's number one right hand man. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening right now. Hey guys, Nukamir, and welcome to Shogun. I mean, last week's episode was intense, where Toronaga's son decided to try to assassinate、uh, Seiki, his brother, in a brothel. And why does his brother not have any swords with him? I guess you just don't carry weapons when you go to a brothel. Okay, but he slips on a rock. How is Torganaga is going to respond to his son dying? And how would everyone else respond to it? Without his brother Seiki, would he think his brother tried to kill him with his son? So we'll see where this whole thing goes, especially now that Torganaga surrenders and Anjin's like, screw you for quitting. I can't believe it. I think that、uh, Torganaga still has something up his sleeve and that Crimson Sky is still going to happen. Now, we got a brand new member, and every new member, Cookie gets a treat. And if you guys want to support me and our channel、uh, and also get Cookie a treat,、uh, feel free to join the membership below. You can see both our full reaction. Let's check out the whole series. All right, with that being said, I appreciate the thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get rolling. So, how is Torganaga going to act with his son dead now? <coughs> 死に当たって頭が割れるとはのわしが思うておった死に様ではなかったデビ会長に記しておかなければな構えるよりは下じゃが出るよりは上じゃな Oh my god He keeps track of how people die and ranks them Like Sama's army will camp at Edo's boundary where they will wait for Toranaga Sama to mourn his son The customary 49 days And after that They will deliver us Okay so we have 49 days for him to mourn I like the 49 number He's not in the mood to talk right now, man. He doesn't look too well either. My lord instructed me to give these to you upon entry to the city, since you no longer choose to stand with us anyway. Fine strategy, he has. At least Nagakado sama died fighting. Your men are here in the city. You must be eager to be reunited. And my translator, what becomes of her? Oh. Mariko sama. Don't go to Osaka. My allegiance forbids me from doing anything else. There's a love of your life just going away. Chapter 8 The Abyss of Life. It was all her plan. ある日、彼は腕を折ってしまうよ、幾日は。If I may, alright, what you got, man? He was often ridiculed in that praise. Oh, that's He's not there? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, there's Toranaga. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Tension is still tense between them. Oh. Okay. A tree branch. 
医師堂様が大老将を掌握されたことは無論存じておる私たちと結んだ取り決めでございますが檜山様と大野様は構いませんでした患者がすでに知らせてきたことをマリコ殿これよりこのバテレンの通詞を務めキリシタン教会は日の本の言葉をしゃべるよっても、oh. Oh, wow. 恐れながら、oh. You can't speak Japanese anymore. Which did not send me on this mission, Lord. And many in Edo have lost hope. But not me. And I see no cause for her anger. Unlike Ishido, you love the air. If you form an alliance with his mother, air would be free to turn against Ishido. Marry her instead. Yeah. No. She thinks he got her dad killed, right? すぐにわしの首を土に埋めるであろう。おりまするぞ、殿。殿らしくもない。あまたの犠牲と引き換えが勝利よりも。手は見捨てるおつもりか。決して殿を見捨てるしければこちらから聞いておるわ。呪いを
Okay. Yeah, but she is a politely declined. So, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. Only you will. There's no explaining treachery. Oh, he's offering his sword. On that cliff, many months ago, taking fate into his own land. Yeah, but she is a man. He likes it. Kotabi no Ayamachi will be able to see you in the face. I'll be able to see you in the face. He refuses your offer. Otherwise it would not be loyalty. Yeah, that's what loyalty is. But loyal turns senseless very quickly when the order is suicide. Would you like me to translate that? Or was it for me? Oh, she's planning her place in Edo, the Red District, right? あなたには聞くの部屋も作って。死には何も見えぬ。その時もあると思うのか。あざにさえなる時は。思いませんね。私は何のために戦っておるのか。見ようとしても見えぬのならば、さらに目を凝らそうかないと存じまする。どなたです
allies. So not that me you. Me you. Me you. Someone's coming. Mariko? Okay. Oh. It's all part of the plan. Man, they're building Tokyo to look real nice right now. It's morning lots of his son. Earned me some time for a strategy. Okay. Let's go war. Wow, guys. What an intense episode. It feels like every episode is always intense in some way, especially since it shows so much drama. Not a lot of actions. Kind of wish there was a little bit more action to, you know, break up all that tense drama and um, the tension between everything just to, you know, break things up. But overall, they always know how to captivate you with this stunning performance and the what strategy and mind games going on. Today, we just lost another great character on the show, especially right-hand man on Toronaga. I mean, Hero loved his lord so much that he was willing to sacrifice him. So it looks like a peer that Tornaga is going to surrender. And that's what's so special about Japanese culture, especially back then, is the, the undying loyalty they have to whether their emperor, their lord, whoever they pledge allegiance to, that's, they go for it. Yes, there's some, you know, you know, in-house fighting and internal turmoil. But the, the, the thing is like sacrifice your life through a seppato and, and taking yourself it's crazy. That's why there were so many kamikaze pilots out there. Uh, just that that whole culture shift. So intense to see. So now we finally get to see Tornaga stop being a, a you know all this sad guy where he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna surrender. I have to make it. Now he's like, okay, I'm ready to fight. And shows finally shows respect to his son. Said, all right, you bought me some time. I got this strategy. And then the, he knew that Anjin and uh, Kashigi were very fingle, uh, fickle. Like they they could just you know. Just like, yeah, this guy's crazy. Let's go do our own thing. But it was all part of the plan and using it in his favor. Like, he's one of the, probably one of the smartest per people and wartime guy out there. Uh, so definitely interested to see. And then Lady Orchiba is marrying uh, Ishido. So, yeah, we got that going on. <laughs> and the poor priest. He finally gets a church that was promised right next to a brothel, you know. Go to a brothel, then go to church to confess your sins, what you did in the brothel. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this show is great. I really wonder if they're going to do a season two. If they do, how it's going to be, especially since um, they ran out of source material since the whole book is in season one. So we'll see where it goes. Appreciate the subscribe, like. Don't forget to join the membership. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>